Ah, yes. July 14th, 2017. So here we are at the spring pond. It's midsummer, basically. And uh, we've had good rains this season. We've had about an inch and a half of rain a week, roughly, on average. Uh, nice timely rains, just about the things time start just about the time things start to dry out, we get a nice uh, nice dose of rain again. Uh, mostly in the form of thunderstorms, but they've been uh, they've come through with like a sprinkle beforehand to kind of wet the ground and then a solid soaking afterwards. So it's been pretty good. So uh, ram pump is still running strong. I've had a lot of people asking me, you know, how's it running? Uh, and people who've seen the videos and uh, all this spring from the upgrades. And uh, yeah, it's running great. And uh, we got a little bit of overflow from the pond still, so that's real nice. We're running the ram pump, and we're still overflowing at least 10 gallons a minute, maybe 20. Um, so the spring is doing real well. Looks like last year's work on opening it up really, uh, really paid off this spring with the flushing. And um, those are garlic scapes off the garlic sitting there in the in the bucket. <laughs> Gonna let them flower out and play with some of the garlic seeds a little bit. Maybe we'll do a video on that later in the season. Anyway, um, so yeah, once I hardened the new foot valve system in and uh, tweaked things in, she's been running steady. Uh, it's stopped a total of four times since, well, since that video about foot valve hardening, I think. So a few months at least. Um, two of those four times were uh, frogs. <laughs> Actually got into the ram. Uh, I had not corrected that uh, intake filter on the spring side yet and uh, so a frog got in and sadly was sheared in half in the ram pump uh, and that stopped it and uh, so that happened twice over the course of about a month and then uh, a friend of mine gave me an old uh, carbon air filter and I dumped the carbon out of it and that's uh, the perfect screen mesh size for the intake uh, we'll take you up and show you that in a minute um, so that I would bring you down and let you see the uh, the ram still running steady. Um, I filled the 4,000 gallon pool several times and uh, used it for irrigation and had to flush it once or twice for algae reasons. Um, and of course, uh, after the pool is full, it fills the upper reservoir, and after that, we're overflowing. And there's been a good amount of overflow um, time even after filling the pool. It takes about three and a half days if the pool is completely empty to fill it back to completely full. And that's a little over 4,000 gallons. Anyway, um, what else? Oh, I guess uh, I guess I should take you up and show you the uh, show you the intake filter. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Anyway, um, yeah. So everything's running well. Uh, this is overgrown like a jungle uh, about a week and a half or two weeks ago, and I. Uh, came in here with a weed eater and had to clear it out so we don't trip getting down in here. Um, yeah, so let's go take a look at that uh, new filter and, uh, and we'll seemingly an evident example that I haven't had to do anything in here. <laughs> it's overgrown, I can't even see the filter. So bear with me for a minute. Okay, so with some of the grass out of the way, now you can at least see part of the filter. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fresh filter, P-H-R-E-S-H, -E and uh, I think they're used for uh, a carbon filter for mold for basements and attics and that sort of stuff. Um, and actually, I'm just going to kind of scrub this a little bit. I got it open in flush mode. I'm just going to let it flush. I don't think I'm even going to pull it out, um, but you can see the screen size there. Water is cold, man. And uh, yeah, so that's keeping all the bigger debris out. And then we got the smaller uh, filter set up in the standpipe, as I showed you in the previous videos. And uh, so uh, that's all there is to it. That's keeping the frogs out and uh, all the other larger objects. Um, and in answer to the questions I've had, uh, yeah, the ramp up is running solid like a champ. Steady as a rock since uh, since we straightened out the uh, foot valve issues, and um, yeah, I guess that's it. So uh, 
that concludes the ram pump update. It's summertime. Uh, we're moving ice cold spring water and pumping it up top. We're irrigating all over the place with it and all is well. So thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.